you have almost endless possibilities to approach any given problem in a tabletop role-playing game or TTRPG. Combat? You've got your weapons and you know how to use them. Social interactions? Just let the bar deal with it. As the player, your character has a huge selection of skills, gear and abilities to tackle everything, especially when you use your imagination. However, every character will have room and the wish to grow. Sometimes they discover something they really like to do but aren't equipped to do it. Other times their roles during character creation makes their life more difficult than it needs to be. That's where magic items come in. Magic items can do anything you can imagine. Have a scrawny halfling who is all smart but no brawn but really wants to help their allies. Give them a ring of hill giant strength and watch them carry their friends to safety. Have a dwarf that knows all about dragons and is obsessed with their strengths? Give them a dragon scale cloak with fire resistance and plus two to intimidation checks. Magic items are a great reward and can really help flesh out and expand a character. However, there are some issues with magic items. Firstly, the character you wanted to give the item to might not even end up getting it. Secondly, even if the character has the item, they might not know what it does. Thirdly, even if they have it and know what it does, it might simply be forgotten with all the things they already do have and can do. Fourthly, your dungeon master might not even give you any magic items to begin with. I have a system that will tackle most of these issues all at once. This bit is more for the dungeon masters, but if you're a player, stick around and share it with your dungeon master if you like what you hear. Most characters have backgrounds that they love to have come up in the campaign, and all characters have gear that they have when they start out. Why not turn the equipment your characters start out with into magic items over time? As they grow in power and improve their skills, they will certainly become more familiar with their gear, so starting out that could simply mean giving their sword a plus one to hit and damage. Seemingly mundane things can reveal hidden powers tied to the backstory, or maybe the party frigs a benevolent spirit which then grants each party member an enchantment on their favorite piece of gear. Turn the old leather tunic into the hide of beasts as your druid unwittingly steps through a waterfall imbued with ancient druidic magic. This way you can tie the item directly to their class or background, which often starts out with a seemingly mundane item anyway. And even if it isn't part of their backstory, it immediately becomes part of their own legend. Just imagine being so powerful that some of your abilities seep into your own gear. Now bring in enemies that had heard the stories of the party's amazing exploits and decided to come claim these wondrous artifacts for themselves. Your party will rarely feel so powerful or amazing and the additional threat of losing such a precious item can create new story opportunities. Best of all, the gear can continually grow with the character over time and become more and more powerful just as their wielders do. And even the most benevolent and humble characters are unlikely to give away the only gear they have to other party members or a thrifty merchant. Uh, do keep in mind that your standard balancing rules for magic items should still apply. Once they have their magic items, they need to know what these do. Some players will enjoy having to identify their things first, but even then the magic item might reveal its powers before that. Personally, I now believe it is best to simply tell the player what they got and how it works. Wrap it into a little scene during the session where it suddenly clicks for the character and whisper the player the details. This way, their character gets a cool moment where they can impress everyone else and decide for themselves how the character exactly learns about their abilities. Next up is creating situations where these items will actually be useful. They just got their shiny new toy and are likely itching to put it to the test. That cloak of fire resistance? Have a fire-breathing dragon drop by wanting to reclaim it for their hoard. Video games do that a lot where they first give you a new item or tool and then give you some room to use it. This way, your characters can familiarize themselves with the items and are more likely to remember and see them as part of their ever-expanding toolkit. 
Whether the party finds, buys, or gains the magic items the way I've described, magic items are a fun reward. They are a great way to account for individual weaknesses or even overpronounce already existing strengths. As a dungeon master, don't shy away from giving the party plenty and powerful trinkets. As a player, don't forget them or, well, the rest of your inventory and use them in creative ways. Uh, why are you still here? Go and convince your dungeon master that this idea is really good and help me help you by helping me to help you get those magic items. Or if you are a dungeon master, think of ways to imbue your party's gear with cool and unique magical powers. That's it. Goodbye now. Subscribe. 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 Goodbye.